Okay, so when we left, this is <clears throat> essentially where we had left off. Um, you can make your own character, like I had done here. So I made my two characters. They're going to be in dialogue. Um, so I made, I've got Egbert and Eggleston. So Eggleston, Egbert. Um, I pieced them together. Um, I also I want to do an over-the-shoulder shot while they're talking. So maybe they're talking like this. Um, so here I've got the back of the head, which is an over the shoulder shot where this, they're talking to each other and then it switches to where it'll be the back of his head and then you'll, so I don't have it prepared yet, but you'll see the back of his head and then you'll see her talking. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you can create your own characters. Oops. Let's put those away. Um, create your own characters. And so like with this one, you can see I have a bunch of layers here. Um, you know, I pieced it together from nothing, so I gave them eyebrows, a mustache, hat. I mean, you can game a little shorts. Whoops. Okay. So, um, right, and we've got lips. Now, notice there's the black area behind the mouth. We're going to need that, and you'll see why. So that way, when the mouth opens to talk you'll see the black, right? Rather than the mouth opens to talk and you see that skin color or skin tone. Um, so basically our essential elements for this are um, you need a face, you can create it or you can get a picture of somebody online and we'll see that in a moment. Um, oh, where we go here? Okay. And so I'm just getting rid of everything. Nothing's really labeled. But um, so you're going to need eyeballs need to be separate because we're going to move them. And that will allow the uh, uh, eyes to blink. So here essentially I've got the face. Okay, so I've got face, eyeballs, black, mouth. All right, those are the essential elements that you'll need, whether you create your own or you use an existing image, right? So even here, for me, let's see what I've got here. Um, oops, I just, I don't know what that is. So that's the guy. Are those, uh, yeah. Oh my. Okay, there's regular eyeballs. That's so this these here. Um, I've got my face. I've got those are my actual eyeballs. Again, remember we need to extend the boundaries of those eyeballs so that way we can move them. So this route, I did this, so we'll end up moving them in After Effects, right? And I have my eye holes are blank, so what we'll do in After Effects is take this area here and pull these down to make it like the eyes are blinking. So we're going to, part of the dialogue is we're going to make the mouths move for dialogue, we're going to make the eyes move, and we're going to make them blink. All right, so we need to have all those things. I can get rid of this eye. But again, you can use Realize and sort of clone stamp around to get that extra area because we absolutely need that extra area in order to be able to move them. Otherwise, if you move them and you don't have that extra area, you're just going to see stuff like this. Blank spaces, right? I'm not going to... Uh, my eyes are fine moving within this limited area. So again, you can... Looks like one eye is a little off. Let's put that straight. Okay. So, again, you can make your own eyeballs, or you can just get an image of them online like I did here for this one or for here. Um, this one, I, I would need still a black area behind the mouth. So, just something essentially. This is all behind my head, so I can just do this. Uh, make a new layer and fill it with the paint bucket with black. Okay, so that's somewhere. 
maybe. There we are. All right. Also, I see something here that I definitely want to get rid of for the animation. All right, so we've got this part here. Um, we have all this, this ghosting happening around. So I want to definitely erase that stuff. Okay, so now if I end up moving my head, uh, I won't have that weird ghosting effect. All right. Um, okay, so that's how we need to have it set up. You need to have, let's type it out. One, a face. Two, eyes with extra room so they can move. Uh, three, a mouth. So again, the mouth here, the mouth is separate. I created the mouth over here. The mouth is just part of the face. You'll probably want a closed mouth uh, for the process we're going to be using. So if you have a face you're using, you can do the content aware fill or clone stamp to get rid of the mouth and put a new one on. Um, mouth and black area behind mouth. All right, so um, that's essentially it for the Photoshop portion. Um, if you have any questions on this stuff we already did in class, but if you have questions, um, do your best to Solve them on your own, do research, Google stuff, look at, I mean, there's a YouTube video for anything, um, but also if uh, you do have questions, we have, you can email me with any questions, we have our set time periods for Zoom meetings, or we can do a Zoom meet outside of that time frame, um, where I can do like live demonstration, show you my, share my screen and do that stuff for you. Um, so here I have, now I have a... Uh, essentially everything set up for that okay so we're here in after effects um i have my thing organized and labeled here in photoshop body eyes mouth black for mouth and i added some eyebrows um you want to make sure that when you're creating your photoshop portion you're doing the 1920 by 1080 with 72 pixels per inch that's so very important so here, After Effects, we're going to start um, a new composition, um, 1920 by 1080, it's about a minute long, that's fine. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to double click here to upload my Photoshop sample. Just remember we import it as a composition to get all of our layers, not as footage. Make sure this says composition. And I'm going to drag just the whole composition down here. Double click. Double click. Opens it up. Here's all my pieces. And I'm going to double click and get my audio. So I will take this as my audio, drag and drop the audio down here. And we may want to make sure the audio is in the same, it's not here, it's in the one with the mouth. I'm going to open my audio and I can see my waveforms. So here there's a little sound, nothing, and then talking begins. So I'm going to cut it right here, edit split layer and I'm going to delete this first part and drag this to the beginning now we can see my audio levels 
waveform. Okay, so we're going to right click on the audio, keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. What this does is when I open this up, I'm going to delete left and right channels and just keep both channels. And what it's done is it's made a keyframe for every single frame. And we can see that the slider number is 0 0.19. 0 0.25, 1.61, so it's registering, this is louder here, let's click that one, 9.38, so whatever decibels this audio is registering as is set for this number on this slider. Okay, so we've essentially just taken our audio levels and turned it into a set number. Now, we want our mouth to move based on this number. So when it's not talking and it's at zero, it's not moving. When it's up to four, nine, plus, whatever, it's the mouth would be opening up. So to do that, we're gonna, I'm gonna choose my mouth layer. We're gonna go to effects and presets. If you don't have it, you can find it here under window. And I'm gonna type in CC split. We're going to take CC split 2, drag and drop it onto the mouth layer. So I get these effect controls here now for my mouth layer. I need to determine, we're going to zoom in, I need to determine point A, so I'm going to click this little crosshair, and point B. And so whatever is in between these two points is going to be our split. So when you see me change split, so I'm grabbing a little of the top lip, so I'm going to move this down. Okay, so our lip, we can see our lip moves. And now we want that movement to be controlled by whatever number the slider is. So I'm going to open up mouth. CC split so we've got split one and split two this thing here is called a pick whip property pick whip select property from which to inherit value so this is where programming comes in where this split is going to be programmed to move to whatever this number is so if I take let's grab this and move this up to make this easier If I take split one, grab the pick whip, I need to click and hold and drag to slider. Slider's highlighted, let go. It inherited the number 9.4. If I just click the pick whip, I didn't attach it to anything, but it activated. It turned red and it's just going to stay zero. I'm going to go back, pick whip to the slider. We can see our mouth has opened a little bit, so if I hit play. Okay, so, so. When we left, this is... <clears throat> Alright, so our dialogue is moving. But the mouth doesn't move very much. We want... Okay, so... so Our bottom lip to move more than our top lip. We're going to take split one and open it up. So expression, this here is... Uh, this is the programming. So the pick whip automatically added an expression which is programming. Uh, there is a language I think it's CSS uh, cascading script um, for this portion. So here we can see this comp layer so that's this composition layer audio amplitude that's this effects both channels and sliders. So audio amplitude affects both channels, sliders. So it's telling us where the source is for this information. We're going to, I'm going to hold shift and click or hit the button that makes the little asterisk. It's kind of used as a multiplication symbol. Let's do times four. So, okay, so, so, so now we see the bottom is... lip moves much more. So let's, Okay, so 
when we left, this is <clears throat> essentially where we had left off. Um, you can make your own character, like I had done here. So, I'm so we can see that the mouth is moving. Now, I, if I need to change a segment, so let's zoom out a little bit. If I needed to change an area, I can click and choose any of these keyframes, and I can change um, their value. I could chop this mouth into pieces and change the multiplication. Sometimes we want the mouth to move differently, but this is the basics for okay, having so, the mouth so move. When we left, this is <clears throat> essentially where we left off. Um, you can make your own character. All right, so now we have our character is talking. Okay, so so when we left, this is <clears throat> essentially where we had left. Um, you can make your own character, like I had done here. So, I so even if that's not enough, let's even change this to that might be too much, but let's try eight. Okay, so so when we left, when we left, this is. <clears throat> Essentially, where we had left off, um, you can make your own character, like I had done here. So I made my, my two characters. They're gonna be in dialogue. Um, so I made. So this Egbert looks like a pretty Egbert good. Eggleston. So Eggleston Egbert. Um, I pieced them together. <laughs> um, I also. Um, we can see one. If we're trying to be a little better with it we can see here the black for my mouth the mouth maybe moves a little too far it's somewhere in there let's see can't seem to find where it was but it moved the mouth moved a little bit too far showing um some of the area that isn't black okay so so all right, so that's for the mouth moving. I'll uh, make another tutorial here for blinking and eyes moving.